Hurricane Florence, September 13th and 14th, 2018. This is the chase from the view of Kyle Bauer and Derek Smith. ...to provide help to anyone in need, and he looks at the work he's doing as a way to help areas improve in case another hurricane hits. When I look back at my portfolio and I review these events, um, it is a piece of history and seeing how it affected people. Will Lewis, 69 News. Roll it up. After an interview with 69 News out of Allentown, it was time to pick up my chase partner, Derek Smith. 11.43. On route to Wilmington. Quick Denny stop. So we drove into Wilmington, North Carolina in the wee hours of the morning, Thursday a.m., with one goal set in mind, intercept the eye wall of Hurricane Florence. Most to almost all North Carolina residents heeded the mandatory evacuations and cleared shelves, as you could see, in the wake of Hurricane Florence. Some even took shelter here in this American Red Cross shelter in North Topsail Beach. And some folks sat up all night watching the Weather Channel, just hoping Florence wouldn't be that bad. As tropical storm sustained winds moved into the area, we repositioned ourselves a little bit closer to the coast in a town called Holly Ridge. Oh, it was Chris Warren. Yeah. I thought it was Chris. Back up, back up. Incredible, I just caught it. We dropped south into Surf City, North Carolina, and just offshore, Hurricane Florence was intensifying slightly just before landfall. After Derek and I evaluated our position, we decided to head a little bit further south to a spot that we scoped out earlier in the day, Wrightsville Beach. This is where we would spend the rest of the evening in Hurricane Florence's eyewall, hunkering out the storm. Oh wow. Oh, that's, that's gnarly. That's gnarly. We're going to. I think I'm going to enjoy this.
Hurricane Florence made landfall at our exact location. Friday, September 14th, 2018, at 7.15 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. As you can see, damage was sustained throughout the region, and even at the hotel we were staying at, some vegetation damage did occur. But this was nothing to be said for what was to come in the following days in both North and South Carolinas.